the structure and function of the pituitary gland? Well, sometimes called the master gland, the pituitary gland is located at the base of the brain, and it controls many body functions, as well as other endocrine glands. The pituitary gland, however, is controlled by the hypothalamus, which is why this is highlighted here as well. For every hormone released by the pituitary gland, there is a corresponding hormone in the hypothalamus that actually triggers its release. The pituitary gland is divided into two major lobes, the anterior and the posterior lobe. The anterior lobe, lobe makes and secretes six different hormones, growth hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone, adrenocorticotropic hormone, follicle stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, and prolactin. The posterior pituitary gland makes and secretes oxytocin and antidiuretic hormone. The functions of these hormones vary. Let's go over them briefly. Growth hormone promotes bone growth, especially during childhood and adolescence. Thyroid stimulating hormone stimulates the thyroid to secrete thyroid hormones, regulating metabolism. Adreno adrenocorticotropic hormone stimulates the adrenals, the adrenal cortex, to secrete hormones. The follicle stimulating hormone hormone causes ova to mature in females and in males will stimulate the testes to make sperm. Luteinizing hormone stimulates the ovaries to produce a corpus luteum, which you may learn about when studying the female reproductive system. And in the male, the luteinizing hormone stimulates the testes to make testosterone. Prolactin is only released after childbirth and stimulates the mammary glands to produce breast milk. In the posterior pituitary gland, oxytocin stimulates the uterus to contract during childbirth. So I'll put uterine contraction. And it also causes the mammary glands to release milk for breastfeeding. Antidiuretic hormone, or ADH, targets the kidneys and is also known as vasopressin. Its function is to cause the kidneys to prevent uh, water loss. So just remember that the pituitary gland has multiple functions despite its tiny size.